Let's go up. Okay, who put this stuff on my desk? All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Elite Brick Force video. Today, we have a um, another haul video for you guys. I know we did just do one um, a little bit earlier, um, but we do have one. So I was, you know, the 2024 AAT poly bag came out, and I think it's probably one of the better um, poly bags that LEGO has ever done. And so I figured it's about time that I get my, uh, my plastic claspers on that bad boy. So I decided to go out and do a little hunting. Word on the street is they had it at Barnes and Noble. So uh, I decided to head on down there and uh, take a peek. And lo and behold, I was rewarded. I was rewarded with one of these bad boys. Next thing you know, I was dialing 911 from the heart attack I was having at coming face to face with my Lego Star Wars White Whale. I just still can't believe I actually own this set. Like, I've been waiting for so long to have this thing. You know, it's been on my Christmas list for the past, I don't know, since it came out, 2016. Since then, it's been on my Christmas list and I've just never got it. But today when I walked into that store, I didn't know what I was in for. This, I think to this day, this is one of the best selling LEGO Star Wars sets of all time. And it did so well that you can still, as proven today, you can still sometimes find it on shelves. There was actually two of them there. I actually had to fight somebody off um, in order to get this set. Well, I, I would have fought somebody off if somebody else was there um, also wanting this set. But I was the only one, fortunately. I actually can't believe that I still have it. Like, this is, this is kind of crazy to me and pretty surreal. Comment down below which is better. In this video, we are actually going to do in-depth reviews of both of these sets, uh, which is why I bought them. But we'll start with the poly bag here uh, so we can get that one out of the way. Of course, we want to save best for last. Uh, so yeah, we'll get right into this. Well, I'll start off before I open it up. I'll talk about the, uh, the packaging. We do have the classic Lego Star Wars uh, logo that we all love. And down here, uh, 25 calories is what it says. It's 75 pieces. Uh, the set is just called AAT, uh, set number 30680. And on the back, you can actually see the pieces through it. Spoilers. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all we have here. We got uh, Darth Vader, as I said, because this is his uh, um, preferred choice of vehicle here, as we all know. So yeah, let's get into the build. Guys, here it is, the uh, AAT poly bag here. Um, this built like, it, I don't know, it just looks really good, honestly, from all angles. Um, and did you have fun build? Like, was this a good build? Guys, this was such a good build. I had a great time building this. Yeah, I mean, it's really simple, uh, nothing too crazy. Now, I have to say, you know, this is a really good set overall. I'd give it probably about, you know, a nine out of 10, but you know, I have to say something that could be improved upon on this set since, you know, I'm not sponsored. This is not an ad. Um, so if I were to say one thing, it would probably be the cannon, uh, the length of it. I think it should be, you know, a little bit longer, maybe about three times as long, you know, just to be consistent uh, with the other Lego sets that we have seen of the A8. <laughs> Done with this. Onto the main course. Just look at it. Pieces are still in here. Here's the thumb punch, the little, uh, you know, thing to open it. Still sealed, never been opened. Here we go. <laughs> you guys thought I was actually gonna open this. <gasps> You're crazy. Obviously, this is going to be a pretty, you know, limited review. There's not too much I can do because I am keeping this sealed forever. I'm going to pass it down to my grandchildren. Yeah, I'll, I'll review what I can. So the box art, the box art is pretty good. I guess I never even noticed this before, but it looks like there's some slight rain um, behind Jyn Erso. You know, with the explosion behind her looks really epic. The back shows off all the features. So we have, you know, Jyn Erso's gun, her rifle, can fire off the uh, the spring-loaded shooter that it has there. Uh, set 75119, Jyn Erso, oh, Sergeant Jyn Erso, my bad. Uh, yeah, 104 pieces, you know, of course. Because it sounds like a good set. 
all the pieces are in there still. I guess I can't verify that all the pieces are there. You know, maybe a bag's missing. Um, kind of like a misprint, one of one production error. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like a misprint to me. This, uh, this kind of changes everything. I did not know what I was getting myself into here. Um, wow. I think it's actually her goggles are printed lower over where her eyes are, so it actually looks like she is wearing her goggles. That is, um, that's a game changer. Honestly, one of one here. Still not going to sell it. Still, still not getting rid of this. Um, but I would say that places the value at about a thousand, uh, US dollars. Final thoughts here. Great set. Like I said, 10 out of 10 easily. Ryan from MNR Productions, if you're watching this for some reason, I will be coming for your signature on this bad boy, uh, at Brickworld Chicago. So be ready for that one. And uh, I know you guys are all wondering where our LEGO lore part two is. Uh, guys, we're about 90% of the way finished with that video, so it should be coming to you soon. All we have to do is just film it, edit it, and uh, send it into YouTube to be uploaded. So probably about in the next month or so, you'll be seeing it. So uh, just sit tight a little longer. Thanks for watching, guys. This one was really special for me to make. Um, yeah, probably one of my favorite videos. Yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Sleep tight, Bricksters. All right, let's open.